Every now and then your electric guitar or bass might have a scratchy pot. Usually a little squirt of deoxid spray will do the trick. What if it's still scratchy even after you've sprayed it with deoxid? Well, the next logical step would be to replace the entire component. But what if it's still scratchy even after you've replaced it? Well, that would be a mystery. I'll give you a hint. It wouldn't happen here, but it might happen here. This base has this issue. And in this case, we're dealing with a phenomenon called the triboelectric effect. The triboelectric effect. Some say the triboelectric effect. Hence the old Chinese proverb, some say potato, some say tomato. The triboelectric effect can lead to some unexpected and mysterious behaviors. Sometimes the effect can be misinterpreted as a scratchy pot, as we're about to see. So welcome back to Guitar Quackery. Now let's get to it. In our case, there's really no need to replace uh, the potentiometer. In fact, there's not even the need to spray it with deoxid spray, because as we're about to see, the problem is not the potentiometer itself. Um, it's something else. So let's have a look at the situation first. Uh, this is a Jaguar base, so it has two separate circuits. Um, and here is the switch that can switch between the two circuits. So when this switch is in the down position, this circuit is active. And when this switch is in the up position, this circuit is active. And today we're only interested in this circuit. In fact, we're only interested in this volume pot. As you can see, the base is plugged in right here into this amplifier. And when I turn on both pickups, we can hear them. Uh, so now let's uh, move the volume pot a little bit. As you can hear, it appears that we have a scratchy pot. So the common way of fixing this is to simply spray it a little bit with deoxid spray. So let's open it and let's look inside. So here we can see we have of the volume pot right here. So let's just spray it right here. Okay. And now let's give it a quick test. And as you can see, it appears that we solved the problem. So let's put it all back together again. And we should be good. So, but we still have a scratchy pot. So how is that possible? We just fixed it. So like I said, um, the problem in this case isn't the potentiometer. It's something entirely different. So let's open it again and let's have a, a closer look at the situation. So here is the circuit. And now if we look at, um, at it closely, we can see, well, we have the potentiometers and we also have a whole bunch of wires. So I want to draw attention to these wires here. Um, if I just move them and rub them, you can hear the noise. So in this case, um, these wires just ended up against this thumb wheel and when we were turning the thumb wheel on the outside the thumb wheel was rubbing against these wires it has a knurled edge and it was producing the sound that sounds like a scratchy pot so in this case all we need to do really is just to ensure that these wires are away from the thumb wheel and now it's completely quiet 
So this is called the triple electric effect. Um, we cannot really eliminate it, uh, but we can ensure that it doesn't happen. As you could see in this case, simply by making sure that the wires are not right next to the thumb wheel. What a fantastic video. In fact, let's make sure I click the like button and let me make sure I'm subscribed to this channel because I definitely want to check out some of the videos on this channel because obviously this is educational program. Oh, excuse me. Guitar quackery. Oh yes, you can absolutely make a contribution to this channel. Yeah, there's a super thanks button. And also there's a link to buy me a coffee in the description, yes. Oh, thank you. He says he wants to buy me a coffee because he learned a lot from this program. Oh, you can do the same if you want. If you don't want to, that's no big deal, but you know, it helps the channel. So I can make more videos. Oh, all right. So the triboelectric effect is actually a chemical reaction. And I don't know if you did this in school, but uh, I prepared a little experiment here. I'm about to demonstrate the triboelectric effect in action. This is a popular grade school experiment. Uh, basically, the ruler is now negatively charged and it attracts these pieces of paper. So the triboelectric effect transferred some electrons from my hair to the ruler, which made uh, the ruler negatively charged. And then the ruler is uh, repelling these electrons because it's negatively charged and the electrons are also negatively charged. And the paper is neutral, but uh, when the electrons hit the paper, they uh, get transferred to the underside of these small pieces of paper, which causes the portion of the paper that's closer to the ruler to become positively charged and then attracted to the ruler. This is fascinating, but how does this relate to the wires inside of an electric guitar? Uh, whenever you bend the wires, uh, you generate a little bit of friction. And especially with insulated wires, there's going to be a tiny amount of friction between the core, which is the conductor, and the shield, which is the plastic insulator. And that friction generates a charge. In other words, it now makes the electrons pass from one material to the other. So one material becomes positively charged because it's losing electrons and the other material is becoming negatively charged. So now there's a tiny voltage differential and this passing of electrons um, is basically, you can think of it as a tiny unwanted signal. The job of the audio amplifier is to amplify tiny signals and this flow of electrons is more or less the same thing as the flow of electrons generated by the pickups. And the amplifier doesn't know the difference. So you hear that additional signal as crackling noise. I set up something else on the workbench. Bench. <laughs> now, speaking of the workbench, did you know that I have a separate channel called Guitar Quackery Live from the workbench? So if you like the idea of catching me live in real time as I work on customers' guitars, you should check out that other channel because it's unfiltered, all right? So no editing, you get to see everything. So now let's uh, go over to the workbench and I'll show you another experiment with a triboelectric effect. We can demonstrate the uh, triboelectric effect without a guitar. Um, here I have this uh, plugged into the amp and uh, here I have two sets of wires. Uh, those are uh, jumper wires with alligator clips attached to a, an output jack. So if I plug it in like this, first we hear a hum. Um, and that's because these two wires, although they're twisted together, um, the signal wire isn't shielded like it is 
In this case, this is a coax cable where the ground is shielding the inside wire. Uh, so the longer these wires are, the more hum you get. So here we hear more hum because these wires are longer. And that's, uh, by the way, one reason why you should keep the wires inside of the guitar as short as possible, but as long as needed. Um, so yeah, so let's plug it in here. And now we can hear this. So same thing. Um, and obviously we can hear it here as well. Uh, this is just if we rub it like this, even if we pick it up. And that's basically the same thing that was happening inside of the guitar. So uh, this is not connected to anything. Um, if we connect it to, let's say I connect it to this potentiometer. So I'll connect the ground to this one. And then I'll connect this to the middle. So now, if I turn the pot, now these two are shorted out together. And now it's at 500k. So here, we still have the uh, triple electric effect. But when we turn the pot in this direction, it is the same as if we shorted out these two wires together, in which case, we no longer have that because we have a short circuit here. At the beginning of the video, I told you that we were only interested in the thumb wheels uh, because obviously in this case, um, the wires were pushed against the inside of the you know, whole thing and And when we were turning the thumb wheels, uh, they were rubbing against the wires. Um, but did you know that the uh, trip, trip, <laughs> trip, triboelectric effect is also sometimes observed in the more conventional top mounted volume and tone pots? And I don't have a guitar in the shop right now that uh, has this issue, so I can't make a video now, but I'll be sure to make a video in the future if or when a guitar with this issue shows up, which is the one of many reasons why you should subscribe to this channel and also tell your friends about guitar quackery so, so that you don't keep it to yourself so that others can benefit from this content here on this channel. I'll see you soon.